welcome to part two of our Thorn Ridge tutorial. In this part, we're going to be finishing up the body and the stomach and tail. So you should have two wings, two front legs, two back legs, and various spikes. Um, we're going to be using green for this part, possibly caramel. Actually, we'll be using the caramel and orange for the stomach. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the body, just jump right in. So we're gonna take three there and get one of your tail spikes. These should be a bit shorter than your back spikes. We should only have one caramel. Then take three again and three again. I'm gonna be putting another tail spike here. And then three more right there. Now we're going to be taking two. So take two green, put them right there. Now take one of your back spikes. They should have two caramel, two double loop caramel, then a green. Let's put that there. And take two. And two again. Take another spike. Come on, get on there. Put that there. Take two and two, and then get another one. As you can see, we formed a pattern. We put down two at a time, and then we put a spike. So take two again. Two again, we're gonna put a spike right there. Come on. All right, so we should have used up all four of our back spikes like that. And then we'll put two more right here. Okay, so take two and we're gonna go outward right here. So that's where the body ends and the tail starts. That kind of failed. Anyway, so just do two all the way up until I tell you, oopsies, sorry. So I tell you not to, and that's where we're going to be attaching our wings. going to be attaching the front let's see is that where I want it I think it is so if we have it on these two pegs here yeah so take a wing make sure that it is curving up like that you might be able to tell the good side and the bad side Put the bad side up because he's going to be upside down. Put one here, then take two green and put the other right there. Put it on this peg. I put that on upside down. It's supposed to have the yellow towards the back. So if you did the wrong one, you can go ahead and fix it with me. All right, it's supposed to go like this. So the yellow is going to be towards the tail. All right, now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. attaching the legs as we loom. So don't worry about them until we start looming. So there, we have attached our wings. Now I can finish putting green on either side. Oh, 
Okay, so just like that. Should have spikes in the middle, two wings. Um, now we're going to attach the head. So take your head, go through the three loops at the end, make sure he's upside down, and stick that right on the end here, like that. So make sure his head is upside down, okay? All right, now we're going to be doing our horizontals. So just take two at a time, make triangles. So a little bit about the stomach. Most of the pictures I've seen, it's like a tan caramel stomach thing. So I think how I'm going to do it is a mix of tan and caramel, maybe some orange, but I think that's what I'm going to make it mainly. Um, I haven't actually designed it yet, so we'll be doing that as we go along. Yay. Go to the end of the video and see if you like him. If you don't, don't make him or come up with your own thing. Okay, now we can start looming. So go in, grab the top two, loop them over, grab the next two, loop those over. Then you can grab the center, make sure you don't grab an extra. Now we can loom up the center all the way. I grabbed an extra there, like I just said not to do. All right, those are the right ones. So just be careful going under the spikes. Don't grab any of the horizontals. Basic looming. Anyway, now we can go back up to the top, loop up this, loop up this. Now take one of your legs, your front legs, go through the back of it. So you see how it's curved, go through the back like that. And then you're going to go all the way down. This one has a gray band, that's the tying band. So it should be curved down. Go under, grab the bottom two, loop up. And as you loop this, pull that on like so. So the toes should be curving towards the head. Now we're gonna do that on the other side. So go through the back of the leg Make sure you go through all the loops. As you loop up the bottom two, just pull it on like so. Then you can loop up. And we're going to be attaching the back legs here. So loop both sides. Don't break, please. This helps loosen it. I didn't get one of them. Didn't get the right one, so that's why. Okay, so get up to here. So take one of the back legs. This is, is going to be a bit trickier. So we want it to be attached like this. So go through the leg, and as you loop this one, pull it on like that, so that it kinda, hmm. How do I get this to work? Oh well. Then go through the next one. You know what, we're gonna do this where we, so pull this down. I have a different way to attach this. Just put this on like this on top of the looped one and then go under and loop that. Then take the next one and do the same thing to put it on top after you've looped up to that peg. Yeah, so it'll be like that. We're gonna do that on the other side. Make sure the toes are pointing forward. Okay, so it should look like that. All right, now you can loop in from either side. 
I'm going to loop up the center one. Oh, come back. Wow, that was really bad. We're just going to loop this back. I grabbed way too many bands when I looped this one, so I'm just going to re-loop it. all of it, we can pull it off. All right, so there we have it. Uh, let me get it. tying band, use this blue here. You can pull all the spikes up. Just the legs, so yeah, the legs turned out just right. The back ones, yeah, proportions all right. That worked out. All right, now we can pull off all the tying bands real quick. This one I'm gonna have to break. I know, I loomed it into him. So I try not to loom tying bands in if I can avoid it, but. Just didn't feel like dealing with that one. You may have noticed that I tied these off with yellow bands in the last one. I'm using the ones from the dragon prototype I did because they matched better and I only made one of the other one. So I, it's kind of mishmash. Some of these I loomed on the other one. Some of these I made in the last video. So, just using whatever works. And as long as you guys know how to make him, you can make him look however you want. You can make him bright pink. And if you do make him bright pink, I would love to see it. But I don't know how you can do that because I don't have an Instagram account. Or Facebook. Or even Snapchat, so... If you can find a way to get it to me, that would, I would like to see a pink thorn ridge. Anyway, but that's beside the point. The point is we need to make either the stomach or the tail. And I say the tail, because the stomach will be easier at the end, I think. Oh, nothing broke. Pull out any broken bands that you didn't want to have. All right, so tail isn't very long. It has a split end, so I'm gonna switch this out. Make your loom rectangular. I use magic, so now I have a rectangular one. <laughs> if only I really had magic to do that. So take some caramel. This is going to make the split end. And take one here. I think you can either do it like that. Yeah, I think I'll try it like that. Now we're going to do a bit of zigzagging. Actually, I don't know how we would do that on a rectangular, but. All right, here we're going to attach a little spike. There's a little spike. We'll attach another little spike. I have a feeling we're going to need to make some more, but we'll just see what happens. I have two left. another one there. 
Now we can do three at a time. Hey, maybe this will work out. attach the end. So we're going to need to attach them upside down so that the spikes aren't sticking through the bottom. That would look kind of strange. Yes, we're going to avoid that. So attach them upside down. That's our solution. Anyway, just start looping. Make sure you loop the right ones. And be careful with these double looped. Like this one that won't go. That would be too many. This turns out to be the right length. All right, loop outwards, upwards, upwards, and upwards. Okay, so now we can tie off each of these ends with a caramel, and then we can make the stomach, and then we can be done. Yay! This video is not going to be nearly as long as the last one. Oh well, that's all right. is it'll get done which is what really counts all right don't worry we'll tie off these ends just be careful pulling up oh just have the whole middle come out that works hey yeah that's a good length I like that so there's the split end tail you can pull your spikes Pull them up, pull off this tying band, not the ones at the end, the blue one or whatever color you used in the center. Don't pull the ones off the end. Those are not fun to reattach. So just pull your spikes up, stretch it out. All right, so how we're gonna do this, you can just loop it like that a few times I'm going to do that with this one because this one is kind of bent. It does angle a bit more, but this one, I'm going to go through here, last loop, grab this, pull it back through. Actually, that did a total of nothing. <laughs> Should have thought about that. Just physics, you know? We're just gonna wrap it around. Hopefully nobody looks too closely. All right, so there's the tail. Like I said, it's not very long, so. Okay, now I can make the stomach. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the tan. Let's see how much tan I actually have. Actually, I have all of it out of there, and that is probably not enough. Because, let's think, we need eight. Does that mean 36 plus 16? That would be 52 divided in half. That would be 26? I might have 26 here. If not, I can just do a bit more heavy on the caramel. Yeah, we'll try this. So just take whatever color you want to use. You can use white or all caramel or all tan if you have enough tan for that. But I'm going to be doing a combination. So just go down eight times with this. You know, I think this might look a bit strange. Maybe I should just do the caramel. I really wish I had enough tan, but I don't. So there's six. So 
seven, eight. Now I can do caramel on the sides. So just basic body outline. That's what we're doing. So y'all should know how to do stomach attachment if you've done any of my other dragons. Except for the night lights because they don't have a stomach because they're so tiny and cute. Anyway, this is Courtney Nicole's stomach attachment design. So don't call it mine. It's not mine, it's hers. Now cap off with the caramel four times. And then take two, I'm going to do two caramel, two caramel at a time and do triangles. Oh, I'm second, I'm, I can't talk, that's what I am. I'm excited to be done with this orange. wrench. I had the idea, I got the idea from Ashley Collins, thank you to her. And then I designed it a few weeks after that. And then I was out of town and then I came back and now I'm finally getting to work on it. Okay, so there's that. Now take green or whatever your body color is and we're going to put them on every other peg around the edge. Just lay them on there. This is stomach attachment. So every other. All right, now we can begin looming. So just loom over the bands as if they weren't there, but don't let them fall off. So like that, that doesn't work. Falling off. You need it all the way on there. I mean, I guess it, you could do like tying bands. Just tie it on afterwards if you forget one. Or just as your strategy overall. But this is way easier, way neater. And I'm tempted to say funner, but I don't know if it's actually more fun. Maybe you like doing tying bands. If you like that, you can just go tie a bunch of bands on and then attach it. I don't know. You do whatever you need to do to get this dragon done. All right, so this is kind of thick at the end, but we still need to tie it off. Okay, so pull all these out to the side. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that looks like a stomach. All right, so now we're gonna flip them over. Obviously, that's where a stomach is. You're gonna put it on him like this, and then we're gonna loop up. Well, we're gonna go through, go through, if you can see it. Grab this, pull it through the top, like so. Now we're just gonna go around the edge, pulling through each band. Like I said, this is not how, this is not my design. Did not come up with this on my own. This is Courtney Nicole's.
Okay, so now that we've pulled all of those through, grab the first one, find the next one, and just pull it through like that. Grab it, pull through, do that. You can do it with your hook or with your fingers. I think Courtney Nicole does her fingers. I just started doing my hook once and haven't stopped. So just grab each one, pulling through. I like to go under the wings, makes it a bit more discreet. And then I'm just gonna hook it around this spike, or you could do a leg or the neck or the tail, whatever end you started on the nearest thing. So there, there we have our thorn ridge. I hope you like him. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you did watch to the end of the video, please comment beluga if you would like. Then I'll know you've made it. Um, yeah, so check out some of my other videos like my shock jaw or the slither wing or the slither song or the death gripper. There's a lot of different options. So be sure to check those out. Be sure to check out Courtney Nicole if you enjoyed this. And oh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.